being born and raised in the United States, um, you know, a lot of my culture I don't get to see on an everyday basis, or I don't get to, you know, learn about the history. But you know, I think it's up to my generation, up to me, to you know, seek that information. So being a part of the Filipino religious traditions at my church, um, I'm learning about all of the Filipino saints. There's um, San Lorenzo Ruiz, who was the first canonized saint from the Philippines. And there's also San Pedro Colunsod, who is definitely um, a patron saint of like the youth. One of the wonderful ways that Filipinos celebrate Christmas is through a novena of masses, which is called Simbang Gabi, which is um, a series of masses 10 days before uh, Christmas. Filipinos have this way of just always wanting to, you know, celebrate and be together because they're just such a, you know, faith-filled community and always want to um, celebrate their faith, but also get together for fellowship afterwards. In the Philippines, you have three uh, major, actually, devotions, and it usually uh, being celebrated through like big processions. A big devotion is to the Holy Child, which is the Santo Niño. The one for during January is for the Black Nazarene. Here in San Diego, we have the program that's called Pagsunko, which is visit. Our Lady of Peña Francia's image is, being, is brought to a family's home where she stays for nine days where the family prays together every day. And we do have mass in the morning. It's mostly the fiesta is a celebration of our thanksgiving for her and our, our, our devotion to her um, the whole year. Now it's time to pass those traditions on to my generation who have been you know, born and raised here in the States, but we still have, hold our culture you know, very um, into our hearts. And it's a chance for us to learn that culture and the traditions and then pass it on to our, our kids as well.